Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how we can animate face and also create face expressions and then we're going to use it on our character to close eyes when he's sleeping. First thing we need to do is to drag out any meta human because we need face control rig and these default mannequins don't have it. So just go to your meta human folder and use one of these. Don't use your player blueprint because that one has different settings and it will not work. So just get one of these, go to sequencer. If you don't have a sequencer, just add level sequence. And then here with the character selected, add actor to sequencer and add your meta human. This, as you can see, created the face and face control board, which we will need. If I move the camera to lower speed so I can show you. So we do have this control board here. You can't probably see it very well, but this is uh, this has all of the face parts that you can animate and it has two different values it can go from just one value to the second one you cannot move it like the bones anywhere you like but let me just show you if i for example select one of these parts on the mouth and just move it up you can see he's animating his mouth if this doesn't work for you like if your meta human doesn't do anything when you move this that means you have probably changed something in a default blueprint. Best thing I recommend to fix it is just to download a fresh MetaHuman and that will have the functionality that it will work for you. Um, then to create different poses with your face, I don't want to have this MetaHuman control rig because it's just in the way, so I'm going to delete it. And then for example, we need the sleep animation. So if you want to create it, it works the same way as the other animations. You need to create first the first key and then it will create automatic keys after. So to close eyes, there is these settings that it's called eye blink. If I search a blink here and select both of these, then I'm just going to key the value on the frame zero, key this second one. And once you have that done, you can just move, for example, on frame 30 and then close the eyes. That will automatically create the keys if you have this selected. Then on frame 45, I want to open them again quite wide. And then on 60, I'll go closed again. And this is your animation now. So as you can see, it's not very difficult. You can do it in the same way as you're playing animation on the mesh, but the, instead you need to play it on your face because that one has the face animation blueprint or the actual face skeletal mesh. And let's just create the quickly the animation for sleeping. I'm going to remove these frames. And on the first frame, I'm going to change it to have closed eyes. We don't need any other frames. I'm going to move this to frame 30 or maybe to frame 15 because it's just idle playing, it doesn't need to be long. And then to export it, we just select the face, right click, bake animation sequence, and go to third person animations, and this one will be face sleep. Now, I know this can be quite time consuming to animate if you want, for example, to talk to traders or quest givers or anything, or just anything else where you need to actually do very long sequence with the animation. Uh, I would only recommend using it for, for example, later on when we buff the character with like a shout or something. You don't want to have a default face expression. You want to actually have character open the mouth and shout. So. That is something that you can just play on this. But then if you want to create like a speech or something, I would recommend doing it with expressions. And there are some expressions by default from the Unreal. So if you go to poses and by default, there is no meta human folder here. So we need to right click, add existing folder to view, select the meta humans, press OK. And this will add it here for you. And now we just go to MetaHumans, come on, come on, pause library, face, and you have, you have expressions and vsemis. At least I think that's how you pronounce this. So in the expressions, you got stuff like anger, you got disdain, disgust, revulsion, fear, and so on. And in the vsemis, you do have different like vocals that you can spell out with your mouth. So if you want your character to talk, 
you can just select this and then paste it on each frame. The way you actually use these expressions is, let's go to this one, select the frames you want to use it at, and I'm going to do this anger. Here you need to select the key, select controls, which will select all of the parts of your face that this animation actually, this expression needs, and then you just paste pose. And suddenly your character is angry. Then on the frame 15, I can do different expressions. Expression, sorry. And this one will be this one, fear. Select controls, paste pose. And you do have two expressions in a space on 15 frames. And you can do longer animation and you just keep pasting poses. You can do one of the visa memes, which only does it with the mouth. Closes the mouth, select controls and paste pose. So, as you can see, this is very powerful and it's much faster to actually just paste different expressions. And you can mix expressions for bottom half of your face and top half of your face. We can also create our own expressions. So, for example, if I were to here on frame 45, I want to add default pose. I think there is one neutral. So, neutral, select control, space pose. And then... I want to create that sleep one because there is not one for sleeping by default. So again, I'm going to select this eye blink, close them, and then again, go to poses, create pose. This one will be sleep pose, create asset, and this will create it for you, except for I did it in the wrong one. I'll have to transfer it so it's in the wrong folder, but it's in here. And then, for example, on this frame, now we can use this pose by selecting controls and paste pose. And now he's sleeping. But since we only use two different keys, so we only had the eye blink selected for left eye and right eye, we didn't have any other bones selected when we created the pose. That means it only paste settings for those two bones. If you wanted to have a whole face, you would have to select multiple different bones and then create pose. So this is how you can also blend different poses on top of each other and you can create as many as you want. And this is pretty much it for the expressions. Now we have created that animation for sleeping, so let's also apply it to our player. One more thing I want to mention is if you wanted to do actually speech for your character, which takes very long time, there is an easy way to do it and I think it's called Live Link and it's an app that you can download at the moment only for iPhones but there is a way to actually get it on Android as well and what it does it is actually scanning your face as you speak and then it imports it to Unreal Engine so it's much faster and very powerful tool and I haven't used it yet but I'll probably do it later when I want to create character talking to each other. Now for the sleep expression we can just close the sequencer, I'm going to speed up my camera, and then go to player, so third person, blueprints, open player blueprint, then go to animations, we do have now this face sleep, which if you open it, it's just playing this idle animation for sleeping, we don't have to change anything here, you can close it and then save all just in case because when you're doing anything with the meta humans it can crash your engine very easily so make sure you don't lose your progress and now we want to right click on this create create any montage here on this montage i'll open it up and in montage sections we're going to select default so it loops and now in the player for example i do have this uh, keyboard event t so when i press t I'm going to just test it out and play montage. On face, because that's where we need to play it. So it has to have actually face uh, mesh, because as you can see in the montage itself, it's only playing on the face. And when I press T, I should be able to play montage. But this doesn't actually do anything, and I'll show you. So if I press T, I'll keep pressing it, nothing happens. And the reason is because in a player, in a construction script, we do have this set leader pose component. And that means 
mesh is the leader and every other part is just following the animation of the mesh so we're not able to play it because it will always overwrite with this animation so what we want to do is disconnect the face and delete it we don't actually need it here because it is only for overlapping animations like chest and legs which are using the same bones and then on the face itself we also need to disable post-process blueprint compile and save now let me just double check if i do have correct animation here on the montage i didn't even select one so it wouldn't play it, no matter what stupid but then here if you select face sleep montage and you have this checked and you have disconnected face from the construction script compile and save now when i press t my character closes the eyes and as you can see i can play any other animations which are working fine and just because we do have this default face anim blueprint it actually blends seamlessly the face animations with the body animations so now we can just add it to our sleep so i'm just going to copy this montage and here where we got sit down event which i'm going to actually rename to sit sit sleep because it's for sleeping as well and then uh, where am i so after we sleep idle so after we play sleep idle montage that's where we want to close eyes so paste it here and make sure you don't do it on completed because this one is looping so it will never complete instead just do it from this note and play anim sleep and then we also want to stop it and to stop that specific montage we need to get the face so that will be done here on stand up when we going here to false we need to get anim instance and stop montage montage stop this will be face sleep montage that we want to stop and then connect it to false and then we basically wake up compile and save that should be fine and now when i play the game and sleep it will lay down and now here when we start playing the idle he will close the eyes so i'm not sure if you can see it but he has closed eyes and now when i wake up at this point he should already open his eyes and that is so so yeah that's working fine and this is basically how you animate the face and one more thing i want to mention is that uh, this is probably the last video i wanted to do in the animation section i know there is some more stuff that you wanted to see but I think I have been delaying the combat section for a very long time now so it is time to move on and then obviously if we still need something else to finish we can squeeze it in in the other videos so yeah I'll see you in the next section and in the next video bye